Would you think this scene is suspicious just because of the race or religion of the two people doing the photography? Unfortunately, that scene would probably raise more suspicion than this next one. The following scene depicts the actual type of photography and activity that should be reported, regardless of race or religion of the person. Watch how the worker responds to someone in his secure area who is not wearing an ID badge. However, this time you'll notice the person was actually trespassing. Um, I'm here to install cameras and surveillance. All right. Hey, well, if you give me the name and the number of the person that you need to contact, I can uh, hook him up with you. I, uh, I don't remember the guy, his okay. name. Well, then so, if you want, you just come with me and I'll take you to the receptionist and she can give you a badge and some clearances and we can get I'm you I'm good. I, 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 I think I can just wait out here for him. All right. Probably, probably, probably soon. All right. So I'll just wait here. In most cases, an intruder will immediately leave if approached in question. If you see someone acting suspiciously or maybe in an area where they don't belong, politely approach them and see how they respond. If they continue to act suspiciously or if they leave, write down your observations and report them immediately to security. People who are doing casing and rehearsals might try different ways to learn about your facility. They'll try to blend in and use different methods to get into your facility. They may attempt to be a delivery person, a worker, or a law enforcement officer. People have attempted to sneak into places using illegal badges. If an officer presents you with a badge, check the credentials to see if the badge matches your area. Also, check to see if their ID card matches the badge. Be particularly alert if no real emergency exists, if you are unaware that law enforcement was called, or if the officer comes in unexpectedly. Any officer will gladly provide you with the proper documentation to gain access if there is no emergency. Good morning, sir. You're going to have to sign in. Police business. I understand. It'll just take a moment. Officer, uh, we didn't call for the police this morning. Is there a problem? We have an investigation going on in your facility. I need to get in right now. Oh, okay. It'll just take a moment. May I see your badge? I'm not familiar with Springdale. Do you have any other form of identification I could use to verify this? The badge should be enough to get me in. It's worked before. All right, just give me one more minute. Let me just give a quick call to the Sheriff's Department. We need his okay to get anybody in. You know what? Don't worry about it. I'll go take care of it. I'll be back in one moment. This alert worker stopped that person from possibly sneaking into his work area. Here is another possible ruse. The person doing the casing may try to start a conversation with you and ask you questions about security. That type of questioning should concern you. No one should ever ask about the security policies of your company. Have you been waiting for the bus long? Not really. It should be here any second, though. I see you work for Springdale Hazardous Chemical Company. Oh, yeah, I do. Do you like your job there? Not really. How's the pay? Pretty bad. Really? Yeah. Is that a security badge I see? Oh, this, no. It's, um, everybody's got to wear one. Oh, how's the security there? It's all right. I mean, we got to check in every morning, and they got the cameras and, and whatnot. Are the cameras okay? Are they always on? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's their security, so. How's the locks and everything at night? Yeah, they, they uh, lock it up. And... If someone is inquiring about security procedures, then you should become suspicious. In general, law enforcement, security, and bad guys are the only ones that talk about security. Now here's another possible scenario. Someone posing as a construction worker.
up, man. I'm really excited to go check out this new place for lunch. Yeah, me too. Oh, jeez. That guy's been there doing nothing all day. Well, just show me where I can sign up for a job like that. It's, he looks a little fishy, though, don't you think? You're just jealous because you gotta go back in the cubicle while he gets to enjoy the delicious sunshine. Take me serious for a second, Todd. I mean, his clothes are clean. He's in a car and not a truck. I mean, is that even a camera he has there? All right, all right, how about this? When we walk past his car, you write down his license plate. I will use my cell phone and snap a picture of him. And then when we get back from lunch, we can give it to security. Okay. All right. Their instincts went off, enough to take a description and a cell phone picture. When providing a tip, don't forget your cell phone. You may be able to use it as a camera. If you're not able to take a picture and have nothing to write with, just call your home or office answering machine and leave the description. Now listen as they give a tip to the police. Okay, I'm going to need a description of the car. Okay. Um, we're going to use symbols as a description to help, a descriptive tool to help you with that. What color was the vehicle? Uh, it was black. Right. Do you have a year or guesstimate on the year? It was something like a 2000 or 2001 it looked like. How about the model or make? Uh, Dodge Stratus, I think. Stratus, maybe a four-door if I remember correctly. Okay, all right, great. Um, how about any unusual items such as um, a bumper sticker, uh, dents or dings, scratch, paint scratches, anything like that, roof rack, luggage rack, bike rack? Nothing that I remember. This next scenario is a rehearsal. Here's another reason the person may be hanging around a facility. Todd, do you hear that, man? The alarm's going off for like the fourth time this week. It's getting ridiculous. I mean, I think the cops are going to stop coming if we uh, keep calling in on these false alarms. I know, but we have to, man. It's still procedure. Oh, wait. Here comes a cop car right now. I, I don't think we'll have to call him. Come on. Hey guys, what's going on? The, your alarm's going off again? Yeah, this is like the fourth time in the last couple weeks that it's gone off. Don't really know why. Really? Uh, you haven't seen anybody hanging around or watching the place? I haven't noticed anybody. Hey, there has been that guy over there. He's He's been around a lot today and he hasn't really been doing anything. Oh really? Is yeah. he over there now? Yeah, he's right yeah. over there. Maybe I'll go have a talk with him. Yeah, that'd be great. What the police officer identified was that the numerous alarms could be a malfunction, but it could also be someone doing a rehearsal. They're timing how fast law enforcement agencies can react to the alarm. This may be nothing, but it is certainly worthy of an investigation.